You guys, welcome back to my channel, the Star Wars Thrifting. Here we are, episode seven, and we are heading to our favorite place, the Goodwill. Always do a board game check, and finally, I've been looking for this awesome Clone Wars Edition Risk. So, definitely gonna get it. The artwork is so cool. This Comic-Con Fresco Press uh, Boba Fett helmet tee, I just absolutely love. I love the design of this helmet. And as you guys know, I'm a newly fan of Boba Fett. Yeah, I know, I'm late. I like this because I'm from the I'm from the Bay Area and this was a fun Skywalker family vacation and they're at the Golden Gate Bridge and there's just chaos right behind me. I mean there's AT&T's on the on the bridge. There's tie fighters in the Bay Area sky. Love it. This is probably like the first uh, one of the beginning first Mandalorian um, merch of stuff coming out because it took a while um and you only saw, you only had that one grogu image but now we have a lot of it but i thought it was cute this disney park souvenir cup loved it okay so this is an example of why you need to go down the aisle more than once i went down this aisle five times and this really large yoda just i didn't catch it till the fifth round <laughs> This was a fun mug. Um, again, I don't know, for $5.19, I kind of said no, but I kind of regret it. I know the thumb stone is missing, but I should have gotten it. <laughs> I'm living with regrets. This was a from Galaxy's Edge. When you ordered your blue or green milk, you can get this cool souvenir cup with it and last time I went I didn't get the souvenir cup and I mean again this is just how the force works you find it later at the thrift store <laughs> so I'm gonna take a risk get it and get this game I'll count to see if the pieces are there at home later but this is a fun find definitely excited about the sipper I'm a green milk type gal, if you guys were wondering. That band looks so cool. And definitely my Star Wars tees. Can't get enough of these. I'm probably going to do some fun, fun dyes. Maybe some bleach dyes. Maybe just stress them a little bit. But I might even give that Boba Fett helmet. It's, a, it's not really my size. It's a men's size. All right, and on the way home, it was a Thursday, so I decided to stop at the flea market. It's smaller than the weekends. Found this Power of the Force uh, Y-Wing, and I love using vehicles as planters in my yard. So this just had endless possibilities. So picked up this cool Y-Wing. I saw this cute Han Solo. Funko Pop and his little winter gear from Force Awakens. I just think he's so handsome. That's not how the Holy Force Grail. Works. Another Padme doll. Oh, really? You're cold? This is just. I was over the moon for this. She just has so many outfits and just so many of these dolls came out. But this was. Fantastic. Great Thursday flea market pickup. And this was fun. This was on the dollar tarp. So everything on that tarp is a dollar. <laughs> I spotted that Skywalker Ranch logo. I mean, you wouldn't believe it was pretty small, but not for my eyes. <laughs> this Clone Wars plug and play game. Um, this, I decided to get this just so my nephew, when he comes over, he can play. And there was a cool X-Wing, Resistance X-Wing. But yeah, that was my quick little flea market haul. Thanks again, friends, scavengers, and force collectors. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe to my channel for future Star Wars thrifting. Remember the force, it's calling to you. Bye.